All righty, so welcome everyone to today's exciting session about how to build a confident short game, you know, in 12 weeks. And very important part of the game is the short game. And notice how we said confident. We want to be, you know, approaching our shots with confidence. We don't want to have that doubt, you know, when we're hitting um, some short shots. So how, how important is confidence in the short game, Pete? Uh, well, it, it certainly comes after competence. Uh, it's, it's confidence, uh, false confidence is not much good, but confidence because you've become competent because you've got good technique and you've practiced the right way, uh, which leads to good quality shots and then you build your confidence. So confidence is an effect. Uh, competence is the cause. So that's what we're looking for here. Mm. Love it. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a very, very good point. Very good point competence so we want to be competent at something so what do what do you need to do in the next 12 weeks to to develop a, a good short game so important inclusions you want to have um you want to set aside probably an hour a day for at least five uh, about five days a week for 12 weeks and um if we look at um day one um i would suggest according to our laws of accuracy um you want to spend 15 minutes going through each each part of the game um just building good technique even if it's at home just on the on the mat or or carpet or out in the backyard um just building good technique initially even just without a ball um on putting chipping you know pitching and bunker play so um pete can you just share with us um what a good technique might might look like and what you're looking for Right. The first thing is, uh, if you're going to build a technique, get rid of the golf ball. Do not hit the golf ball while you're thinking about your technique, because you can't, most of us can't do two things at once. So uh, I put a high priority uh, to the laws of accuracy of building technique first, and that's where you need the correct sort of drills to build that technique. And uh, you would start with a grip and a stance. And then you look at the next thing to look at is impact. So understanding and building in that area. Uh, so uh, you do it, like Chris just said, you, uh, in the first week, you, 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 you try it, you see what your technique was. The first thing is see what your technique is right now. So that's the first week would probably be getting a good analysis of your technique. So would you say you'd, you'd, you would video video each each part part of those and just have a look at yourself uh, well one of the things to have a look at yourself uh but when you when you're a little bit blind as to what you're supposed to do it probably is a good idea to plug into uh, a program where you believe that the the uh the coach has got the right idea for you so uh uh your own ideas just just practicing your own ideas if they're not right uh is not going to lead you to any any high level of competence which means you won't have a high level of confidence at the end of 12 weeks. So I, I would spend the, 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 at least the first uh, week, uh, you know, having a you know, video, definitely getting video of your, of your swing, your putt, your chip, your pitch, your bunker shot uh, from front on and down the, down the target line. And uh, with putting, uh, you uh, with pitching, you probably like to get one from the rear view so you can see how much your body's turning or not turning. Uh, so, to me, that would be uh, week one would be a, a real a good forensic assessment of your golf swing uh, in the short game. And uh, I would the good thing today is with video, you can video it and you can upload it and you can send it to uh, a teacher who you believe uh, has a good technique for you or has a, you believe in their technique and then get them to coach you through it and say, well, okay, uh, I'll give you an overall assessment of your, different, the, your four different areas, putting, chipping, pitching, and bunker play. And then uh, it's a case of setting a plan uh, to how, to, how to work your way through it. Uh, so over 12 weeks, you know, if you don't rush it, you know, you know slow, and, slow and steady wins the race here. You know, trying to get it all done in the first couple of weeks is a recipe for disaster. Uh, quick fixes are 
end up the slow road to nowhere. So uh, that's that's my first advice. First week one, uh, find what ground zero is, you know where you're at, and then uh, probably you've got a few more uh, things on the list there, Chris, to, to share with it, with a, with the folks. So it's a bit of a plan over the yeah. twelve weeks. So um, yeah, so if we look at what each week would look like, so day one, you know, spending time on you know good technique videoing assessing okay um day two might look like um to really short easy to manage shots with each skill applying um with a ball but no target so first first step is is without a ball as peter said second step would be good technique with a ball but but no concern on the target your target is is a good feedback from the from the impact, a good feedback from the shot you, you're hitting. Um, the target doesn't come yet. Um, day three, you would uh, introduce a simple target uh, with each skill to aim for. And Pete, so why no target first, and then why introduce a, a simple target uh, with each skill? Well, uh, we have a saying that good golf is easy. You're done with ease. So if you've got a short distance and a big target, then it's a lot easier than having a long distance with a small target. So start off as easy as possible so you can relax. Because if you, you can't do anything when you're tense, that's number one. Uh, the second thing is uh, in week one, you will have a target of doing the drill correctly. So that there's a target of, uh, you, you have a technique, you have repetition and you have the target of doing the drill. So the drill is where you're going to build one, the, the right alignments and the right skills, but you're also going to start to get to a stage where you, you can be more relaxed and don't have to think as, as deeply or as, as, as intensely. You, you can be more relaxed in, in, in doing something. So I think that's uh, very important. So uh, the repetition of the drill uh, in my experience just recently with going through the putting program, that every every day uh, I work on the drill to build the, the start of the swing, the transition, and the stop all with the putt. And I'm, I'm working from the, 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 trying to build the skill really to a high level in putting. So until I can do that effortlessly and, and just do it with a rhythm and a, and a flow, uh, the, ten the tension creeps in, and that's when you 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 don't hit the ball, you don't hit the ball where you want it to go. So that's to me, yeah. Number one, and get the technique right. Yeah, and and um, all sorts of side effects will happen. You know, mental anxiety, um, all kinds of stuff is a is a product of not being competent first. Um, so let's have a look. So day four, I'm just going to um, move this out of the way because it's in the way. Okay. Um, so you want to vary the target with different distances. Um, so first you just choose one target to aim for and repeat, repeat, repeat until you're you know, competent hitting that target. Day four, you want to vary the target with different distances for both, uh, you know, for each skill. Uh, so punting, you might go back in, um, 10 centimeter or four inch increments, um, different distances. Uh, chipping, you might go back in in one yard uh, increments. Pitching could be going back in you know five yard increments to a into, into a circle. And um, bunker shots probably similar um, to the uh, to the pitching. Um, you just want to go back and learn the different distances. And also. Day four, uh, which is decision training, you, you want to learn to play from different situations. So, so once you've mastered a target from dis different distances, you want to train from different situations, you know, downhill lie, uphill lie, um, thicker grass, um, you, know, um, you know, bunker shots are a little bit um, buried, bunker shots are sitting nicely, um, and bury that. Um, yeah, so I would suggest that that would be what a good week would look like. 
um, and doing that for 12 weeks. Obviously, in the in the first weeks, you, you're going to be really focusing on technique. And um, Pete, anything you want to add to that? Basically, uh, that would be to, to get a balanced kind of training program. Uh, my thought is, if you if you're getting if you're getting a bit of difficulty with your pitching or your or your uh, chipping, uh, I probably uh, spend more time just working on the, on building the the technique with a putt. Uh, if you, if you're having a problem, so if you're having a problem, the problem is not solving. You're solving the wrong problem. So that requires you to go go back and uh, back a level to an earlier situation where you, where you do it easy, because it all comes to doing this in a nice, relaxed way. And, and the sooner you can just let go of tension. So uh, having a big target in a short distance, what uh, Chris just said, uh, what we call block train, where you're just going to one target until you feel confident, and then going to another target. Uh, that's that's really uh, a, a good thing to make sure you're very good at your your constant distance first before you get start doing too much uh, what they call variation. Although uh, basically, unless you test it out, you don't know where it breaks down. So yeah, what, exactly. what, Chris has, what Chris has put down there is just uh, really a good a good way. And uh, if you do have a have a dilemma, that's when. Uh, you really, it's ideal to have a coach, someone you can send the videos to, uh, make sure you're doing the technique right. Because it, it, the foundation of, of the laws of accuracy is good technique. Very good. Um, now let's have a look at an important um, part, which I would say is, is setting us aside time in your schedule, okay? Um, I see this every time, all the time when we're coaching people. Um, people don't set aside time in their schedule to, to do regular practice. It can't even be at home. Um, oh, sorry, I'll just get rid of this. And yeah, you'll see, you want to make a regular hour in your schedule five days a week or eliminate habits that waste your time. I mean, we've all got habits that waste the time. TV is a great one social media, all that kind of stuff. So um, I don't need to go on about that. Uh, stick to a calendar as best you can. So put it in your calendar. This is your this is your time where you're going to work on your um, short game. Um, Pete, any recommendations? I just highly recommend that. I know how hard it is to stick to a schedule when you get the distractions. So uh, you've got to you just, if you make the commitment, I think the first thing is, you make a decision, and uh, your success will depend on how how able you are to stick to that decision. You know, make it a priority. Because uh, if you want if you want something to, to be good, you you got to put you know you got to put your attention on it. That's for sure. Give yourself time every day. <laughs> yeah, every day. All right, and Pete, um. Before we finish here, um, we're just going to have a little look at your testimony from from Peter's 310 in a row in the hole. So, uh, Pete, you, you, you've holed 310 putts in a row from 243 centimetres, or what was it? Um, eight feet. What was it? Eight feet, was it? Eight feet. Eight, an eight footer. Uh, it basically, uh, so, a few years back, a few years back, uh, Dave Pels wrote a great, a great short game book, and he had a robot set up with a putter and, and he had a pendulum stroke. The robot could manage 96 out of 100, and so there was always a reason what the ball was not perfectly round, the greens weren't perfect. But uh, basically, with the laws of accuracy and with our technique, which is not a pendulum stroke, it's a piston stroke. Uh, it, there's part pendulum, but through the ball, there's an impact extension, which gives you the much more solid contact. At six feet, we were able to get 261 putts, no, 226 putts, sorry, in a row in the hole. But then we got to eight eight feet. I just it just seemed for some little magical reason, because we'd done all the, the little incremental steps along the way, 
Uh, for a long time there, I was, didn't think I could miss. And then all of a sudden, at 211, the ball stopped a quarter and inch short right in the middle. <laughs> anyway, that was, uh, but. You, you, mean, we, you mean 311? So, yeah, three, 300, yeah, 310 I got in and the 311th hole, that uh, one didn't go in. Well, pretty, but, pretty uh, careless, pretty careless, Pete. Um, well, no, what it, what it meant was <laughs> two things. And what, what, it, what it really meant to me was that if you're going to become a master or you're going to be, you're going to master something, you've got to start small and you, and by using the laws of accuracy on a consistent basis. So since the 16th of December last year, 2022, uh, and now it's the 16th of February, I've missed, uh, I missed three days, I think, and probably 62 or 63 days. So, but I made a decision that I wanted to master this thing. And so, uh, and we had a major breakthrough in what we, we understood about how to build that impact zone. And I thought, I'm going to test this out. And sure enough, uh, I'm at eight foot eight now. Uh, so yesterday, uh, I, I, I only got 28 in a row from eight foot eight. But uh, I'll be back today. To, and uh, with Sasha, uh, the laws of accuracy, we will be back doing that program, that program again. Yeah, that's excellent. Really well done, Pete. Um, so there we go, folks. Um, some, some great uh, little uh, tips on how you can build a 12-week uh, practice plan. Uh, thanks very much for your time, Peter. And um, thanks, everyone, for coming on board. And if you're not on board with us on the Breaking 80 program, we, we'd love, you have, love to have you there. There's many success stories uh, happening. And, um, yeah, we'd just uh, love, to, love to see you there. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, well done, Pete. And thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Uh, we'll look forward to uh, seeing you in the next session. All right. Thank you. Fantastic. Okay. See you guys. Bye. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, everybody. Yeah. Thanks, Bye. Pete. Thanks, Chris. Thanks, guys.